last film I have tonight, and before I tell you the title of it, I don't know if you looked at the Google Doc or not, but um, I, d- before I tell you what it is, I just I want to admit real quick um, that I'm a sucker, Dustin. Okay. I'm a sucker because I saw this. What did you do? I saw this coming, and I knew what to do and what not to do, and I knew mm-hmm. what was logical. I knew what I wanted, and mm-hmm. um, I knew the right course of action. And you know, having having kids. <laughs> Having kids um, really causes you to spend thirty dollars somewhere you don't want to spend it. And uh, uh-huh. today, I, I spent thirty dollars to watch a film called Mulan. Ah, uh, you did it! Release! You will die pretending to be something you're not. Yet here I stand, proof that there is a place for people like us. A girl threatens all plans. A warrior. So Mulan 2020. <laughs> okay. Is directed. Hit me, hit me with the non-spoilers. Is directed by Nikki Caro. <laughs> non-spoilers. <laughs> Oh boy! Screenplay by Rick Jaffa and Amanda Silver and Lauren Hynek and Elizabeth Martin. That's a lot of writers, Dustin. What you think? Yeah, it is. Um, based, it says based on Disney's Mulan. Um, so and 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 the Ballad of Mulan. So I don't know how accurate Wikipedia is with that because we, we can get into that. Stars a lot of people. Um, I believe the actress, the lead actress's name is, oh uh, boy, Yifei Liu. Um, it's also got Donnie, Donnie Yen, uh, Jet Li, lots of people that I, forgive me, I just can't pronounce your names and I'm going to look like an idiot trying. So there's that. <laughs> um, lots of, uh, you know, I won't say an ensemble, but just it's, you know, obviously it's an entirely Asian cast. So, mm-hmm. um, so this movie has a $200 million budget and so far has not made near that because of the pandemic and because of the restrictions yeah. around releases and Disney finally decided, you know, we're going to put this on Disney plus. And not only do you need a membership to watch it, but you also have to pay a premium price of twenty nine ninety nine on top of that to have access to it. We read the fine print by the way, so we can watch the film as many times as we want. We effectively own the film as long as we're Disney plus members. Everything was like, mm-hmm. you can watch it as many times as you want on Disney plus. Right. For, 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 you know, till the end of time on Disney plus. And so that's the thing. It's like, if we ever decide to terminate our membership, that, that, that's gone. That's up in there and with our account. So it's not even like you can buy the film on just, uh, it's, it's, it's even less accessible than, than your digital copies, Dustin, where at least you can put them on a hard drive and watch them on a new computer or get a new computer and re download them from iTunes onto your new computer. It's only in Disney plus. Yeah. So there you go. Um, and I say it may be based on the, Disney film, but the Ballad of Mulan is a story that's in the public domain, I believe. And this, this film, this story has been adapted almost a dozen times. It's not like Mulan was the Disney's Mulan was the first adaptation of the story. It's just the most popular Mm -hmm. one and God willing it remains so because I gave this film one star. Oh no. I gave it one star, Dustin. Um, oh no. And, and and I'm sorry, but it's not worth the money. It's not worth the money. Okay. I don't even know if it's worth the free viewing. Um oh, it's no. um much like the greatest showman, it's a very No oh, no it's a very ham fisted message that we're that we're talking about here. Um the dialogue is so on the nose, the action is over edited, the messaging is transparent, and the performances are pretty empty, pretty wooden. Um Mm. Um, and the film just by the way is long it's two hours long it's pretty long um, much less visually interesting than the original and I, and with much less in my opinion heart and tact so we're making a movie about a girl who 
or a woman, whatever. I don't even know how old she is in, the, in either thing. So a female in in China, in like 15th century China, who goes mm-hmm. off to war because her father is too infirm to do so, and he has no mm-hmm. sons, and you have to. Everyone has to contribute a male to the army, and she's like, if he goes off to war, he's gonna die. So I'm gonna go in his place because I'm brave. And she goes off to war Mm -hmm. and the whole idea is she becomes, and she has, she goes disguised as a man and, um, you know, trains with the army and eventually is found out as, as being a woman and, um, fights anyway and prevails and, um, protects the emperor and saves, um, her country. Um, that's, that's the, that's the Ballad of Milan. Mm -hmm. So, in the original, in the in the Disney animated film, Mulan, I believe the only thing special about her is her ancestry. Like she might have, if you remember, like she 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 has. That's the whole reason they send Mushu is because like he's like an ancestral mm-hmm. guide ancestors. to her. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But she, in terms of her abilities, there mm-hmm. is no. She's just a normal person, as far as yeah. I remember. Yeah, I think I think you're right. And she, you know, she there's a she she decides I'm gonna go fight in my father's stead because I love my father. And and she's a bit different. She 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 doesn't want to be married off to some person. She doesn't. She's bad with her little etiquette and the the, the all the, the dressing up and 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 um and the table manners and whatever. Um, you know, she's not interested in that. But um. Yeah. But she's not like a super awesome warrior person. She goes off and she trains and through her through her actual determination and acumen becomes pretty learned in swordsmanship, Mm -hmm. archery, every, you know, climbing, you know, all 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 those things, um, all all the all the training they put her through as a soldier. So that um, even so that it hurts extra much when 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 they find out that she's a woman and they say, you need to get out of here. Like the only reason you're not being executed is because you saved the commanding officer's life. And Mm -hmm. she's like, "Okay." And so the whole thing is meant to sort of break you down to say Mulan, even though she has proven herself um, with her abilities, the fact that she's still a woman is still not good enough for her to be accepted, which is sexist. It's China, 15th century, whatever. So, Mm -hmm. and she, through her determination and cunning still manages to come through and, and gain everyone's acceptance again, Mm -hmm. as she is um, out in the open and, 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 you know, prove her abilities, save China and be decorated as a warrior. Mm-hmm. That's the mm-hmm. original film. So that's just, no, yeah. you know, just, just establishing yeah. the baseline for what I consider this story in this yeah. film. Oh no. Um, <laughs> in this film, um, Mulan has special chi. Her chi okay. is so powerful She's that from one. the moment you see her, yes, she already has, amazing abilities as a warrior her father okay. says in the opening voiceover um you know if she were my son that'd be great because then mm. there we go but she's not so i'm gonna yeah. have to eventually e- explain to her that she can't she can't live out this power yes yeah. so already the film's about females having power and being forced to contain it because it's yep. a man's world. Sure. Same thing happens. Father infirm army comes, you know, she goes off. Um, and you know, it, it's not about her learning and becoming a soldier. It's about finally, it's about her sort of slowly eking at letting her abilities creep out. You know, it's a little bit of Elsa. It's the same sort of thing we're seeing with like with frozen. It's, mm-hmm. I have these amazing abilities, but I'm encouraged not to use them. Because, mm. because what if I'm too powerful, you know? Yeah. And, um, I'm not going to go through every little beat of the story. Um, even though I could spoil the film for you because it, obviously all the story beats are the same. There's a few things they change here. Um, but it's, it's overall the same story arc. It's, it's just very different, very obvious and, and, and a lot less emotional, um, Outside from the characters all just feeling wooden, except for a couple of her soldiers who have like one or two scenes, obviously. 
Um, I thought that she was pretty wooden. I think that all the dialogue is so on the nose. It's not a bunch of characters having conversations and relating to each other. It's just a bunch of people stating things, stating platitudes. You should never do this. You always remember this. And I will do this. I will, I shall always remember this. It's just like, who are you talking to? It's like the truth. It's like Truman. Like, who are you talking to? You know, like, (laughs) it's just, you know, (laughs) yeah. Um, and, uh, there's some things here that I'm not into that maybe some people are. There's a lot of wire work fighting a la hero, crouching tiger, hidden dragon. I'm not into that sure. at all, but I recognize sure. that's a stylistic choice and some people are into yep. it. That's not what I yeah. like to see. I don't like it. And especially when you over edit things and make yeah. it choppy, it's, it's uh, whatever. Yeah. So I agree. it was argued to me that, yeah, but she has, everyone has special <laughs> argued to you. It okay. was argued to me that, um, it's not like she had special abilities. She just was, you know, I was like, okay, she runs across a rooftop chasing a chicken when she's like seven years old. And she like jumps from like a three story, you know, whatever. And comes on down safely through, uh, oh, no, they show th- child through, Mulan th- through a bunch. Oh yeah. And she, she's precocious oh. Mulan run through the market. Oh, Mulan, watch out Mulan, Mulan. You're always doing this thing. And she's running after the chicken. Forget the chicken Mulan. And she's just like, I'm going to catch that chicken. And she doesn't catch the chicken. It runs into the pen, even though she breaks all this shit and goes up the thing. And then she's coming down the thing, you know, kind of like weird physics, like, Oh, I'll grab this thing and I'll just kind of do this. Th- oh, I'll do this thing. And I land safely. I'm just like, I don't care how special your chi is. A seven-year-old cannot mm-hmm. achieve these kinds of things. Um, right. And so it's just kind of like, all right, so she's just, she's just, she's a, she's unstoppable. Um, yeah. And again, I don't mind. It's not like the messaging is bad. It's not like the story should have been women are stupid and can't do anything. It's, sure. th- it's just your story is about this person unquestionably has, has gifts, supernatural gifts and all these, mm-hmm. and all these men, you know, the, the world they've built has encouraged her to hide them. And it's only when she yeah. embraces her power, can she come out and float and dodge arrows and flip around, do backflips on horses and, you know, cut people right through their armor and save China. Yeah. Um, it's just empty. It's empty. Yeah. And between there being yeah. no relationship between the characters and the messaging being really obvious and there being seemingly no struggle for Mulan, um, it's really just th- th- there's problems I have with it that come from that remind me of Frozen. They remind me of Captain Marvel. You have a person oh. with no relationships that I'm invested in, but they're unquestionably powerful. And only when they realize, oh, someone's trying to keep me from using my power and, and now I shall yeah. use my power. It's like, well, well, then where's the growth? Because seemingly you start mm-hmm. the story with everything you need. And and yeah. I don't care how internal or character driven you try to tell me this movie is just starting the movie decide, you know, Oh, I'm powerful. My dad tells me don't because you need to find a husband one day. And even though I'm on your side and I love you, you're my daughter and I know you're powerful. Your mom told me I should probably tell you to stifle your power. And I'm just going to listen to her because, you know, and, 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 and it's, and then later at the end of the movie, he's like, I was wrong to tell you that. It's like, well, this is stupid. Then you caused this whole story, this whole ordeal. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know what to say. I had all these thoughts during the movie and I really tried not to take notes and just let it happen. But the, the, the thing that's, the, the, that's, the thing that's most frustrating about it is that it's, it's clearly, it's hard to not be cynical about it because it's clearly made to appeal to a Chinese audience so that they can make a bunch of money off a, off a recognizable IP, but actually appeal to China and sort of maybe America too, but it doesn't really matter. And and someone pointed out that that's why the that's why the the character beats feel so flat because they're mixing American and Chinese humor. Like Chinese humor is mm-hmm. is a lot about anticipating things happening. There's just all this stuff about oh the spider don't you know oh what if the spider gets to the thing and you're just like who who cares and it's like yeah but like yeah. In, in overseas they they go nuts for that stuff. Sure. And it just it it's just it's so I I feel so cynical about about it because I don't. I don't, my kids weren't, it weren't interested. My daughter wasn't interested, um, for, mm. for large periods of it. And it's just because it's so slow and so meaningless and none of the meadows were interesting. And that's mm. a problem, I think. Um, yeah. 
so one of one of my pet peeves is um and I'll use the example of the new Star Wars trilogy is you almost can't have a a a character um but but specifically when it seems like when Hollywood writes a female character they can't start them at a place of powerlessness um it seems like they have to start them kind of like fully powerful and fully capable yeah which but which is a, a softly, detriment to their character growth softly oppressed right it's like right, how, exactly. how dare like, we imply that women are in any way like holding themselves back you know correct and and so you have you have like ray the force awakens who presumably is pretty capable i mean she once they take her off of that Jakku. planet of Jakku, yeah. she's able to do a lot of things without training and without, you know, much help. Yeah. Um, and that's, and that's fine. And, and so it's light oppression in that she was lightly oppressed by the fact that she just didn't have, uh, access. I, I guess she access. Exactly. Yeah. She didn't have access. Yeah. And so, but as soon as she has access, then she's great. Yep. And, and so, so you're right. It's like a light oppression, a obstacle that has to be overcome front yeah. and that happens at the beginning of the film like that's usually inciting in and then she she you know awakens you know so to speak right. and so so you have like so that that's what i hate about like what i'm hearing about this at seven years old she's great at what she does well that's fine but when you look at something like the hero's journey the hero doesn't start there like the if you think of any other storytelling device where where our protagonist is is going to be seen as a hero as a legend as a whatever they always start from humble beginning yeah and and reach that that achievement and and that can be a couple different things like right shakespeare says you know some men achieve greatness some men have greatness thrust upon them and some men um uh, whatever it is, uh, whatever are born great. That's what it is. Born great, achieve greatness, and have on them. And so, uh, and and so you have like this thing, but but all of our all of our big heroes, right? Like Superman. Well, he's born great, but he kind of starts from a humble beginning in that he doesn't know he's great yet, right? Right. Or achieve greatness, like Batman. Okay, I, I'm going to work hard and achieve my greatness or have greatness thrust upon them like spider-man or green lantern i'm going to give you this awesome power and and now you have to handle it um and and so all of our that's the way all of our and i would also like to point out that's what han luke and leia were leia was born great luke has greatness thrust upon them and 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 han achieves greatness and and that's exactly what they're supposed to be. And so and so when you start a character, it sounds like Mulan at seven years old, running through and blah 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 blah. I guess she's born great, but but you see, what I'm saying like like even even the characters like Superman or like great power, they always start at a place of humility and not quite knowing about that power. Yeah, and so. And so it's weird. And so I have the same issue with like the Legend of Korra. Um, Avatar: The Last Airbender is great. Then Legend of Korra begins with them trying to find the next Avatar, and Korra comes out and she's like, "I'm the next Avatar." Three years old, and she's like fully mastered all these elements, which took Aang so so much time to learn. Yeah. And all these other past Avatars, it took an entire lifetime. But this this one girl at three years old has all of them, yeah. except for Air. It, it, it's just so frustrating because we're we're deprived as an audience character discover their greatness, and yeah, and, and then like, we, I, and then we get to discover it too. With Frozen Two, like. I think one of my issues with it was I didn't think there was anything in that film that was, that could actionably inspire my daughter. All it got her yeah. to do was prance around and sass me. <laughs> and, 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 and that's sure. not the same as like telling is showing somebody like, Hey, even if you aren't born with all the tools, you can, you can yeah. attain them because if you stick to these values and, 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 and develop these skills and what all these movies are doing. And I get it. It's the same with the greatest showman. The intentions are there. The intentions are to show, Hey girls, you have worth, you have inherent worth. 
Yeah. And, and I just know you have this greatness inside you waiting to come out. That's what they're trying to say. That's great. But what you're showing by putting these criteria around it is you have greatness, period. You have yeah. greatness that's equal to the greatness of other great people. It's like, yeah, but every girl's not going to grow up to be Oprah Winfrey or, 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 yeah. or, or, or Michelle Obama or, you know, like, or, 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 yeah, yeah. or Celine Dion, you know, you're not going to, not everyone's going to reach that level, <laughs> but we're going to make everyone believe that, that they have the, this, these inherent gifts and, yeah. And it's it, the only reason they that they aren't being recognized for their greatness is because society or men or their dads or whoever is telling them, hey, don't do that because it's going to rock the boat. Or if you are, mm. if you, you know, if you uh, attain power, you may be seen as a threat. And it's like, I'm sure that happens. And it, but, but I think it, what, what, it, <sighs> If the narrative is that that the that society is filled with this patriarchy keeping females from attaining power, fine. Let's make movies about that. But when you put it in a children's movie and you remove all of the needed context and complexity from it, and you just you just you pare it down to just girls are powerful and the world just needs to let them show it. It's like cool. But when you when you when you have a character who has supernatural abilities, basically, um, mm-hmm. or, or, or even within the context of, of, of the, of the action, the wire action within this particular genre of, of Asian action filmmaking, fine, but not every character is also fighting like that. So even within the context yeah. of, Oh, that's just the fighting style, Connor, but it's not just the fighting style because only she does it. And Donnie Yen, yeah. who's of, you know, in, you know, a freak of nature as well. So like, right. so it, even within, even within the visual language, language of the movie, it's still just Mulan doing it. So she does have abilities that others don't have. So my daughter's watching that. And all you're telling her is, is, is that if you're not born, what, what I'd be thinking if I were her is, Oh, I can't do that. I guess if I'm not born with that, I'm just screwed because I don't have those abilities. And if and right. yeah, kids aren't supposed to take the message literally, but at that point, like, all sure. right, well, then who's this for? I even told my wife during this thing, is this isn't for kids? Because I don't see what, yeah. what kids are latching on to here. And it's not yeah. for adults because the messaging is uh, incredibly obvious. Who is this for? Yeah. Who yeah. is this for? <laughs> yeah. And, right. and I don't I don't know the answer to that. Yeah. Everybody well, and nobody. Makes- Right, exactly. Well, it has to be broad for Bro, yeah. everybody, but by being for everybody, it's really uh, yeah. because it has no point of view. Yeah, it has nothing worth saying. Yeah, I, I, I have a problem with that, and like, and and I, I, I really think about that a lot because I, I just think that you need to show people the way forward. If you're going to make a utilitarian movie where your goal is to show young girls what they're capable of, you need to show them. Like, hey, if you are born with something special, great. That's even better. But if you're not, yeah. you can still get there with these things. You know. Well, see, I and I would argue that that giving Mulan special chi or whatever yeah. completely devalues the message of the film. Like, like totally degrades it. Th- this um, kind of goes like, into it, like my my opinions about like the fact that there's no songs in the film, which is fine. Look, look, I, I don't blame the sure. film for not having the music or Mushu or any of the sidekicks or whatever. That's fine sure. because I I wouldn't I didn't want a carbon copy of the of the original with this film. Yeah. Yeah, but there's an uh, we watched the original after this one, and there's that awesome montage where she decides I'm gonna go off to war in my dad's place, yeah. and this great music yep. is playing, and she cuts her yep. hair, and that's like a, this symbolic. I, I'm not. Yep. I'm. I'm. I'm rejecting this arranged womanhood that yeah. my you know that I was probably gonna go into otherwise, and I'm yeah, yeah. going to go do this thing, and that's significant because this is a normal person who's going off yeah. to probably certain death because yeah. this is an insane thing she's doing, but she's doing it because she loves her dad. It's a gesture of of courage, yeah. and when you have special yeah. abilities and you go off to war, it's like you're probably gonna be fine. Like if I were her dad, right. and, and and you know they find out, it's like they, they're gonna kill her. It's like our own people will kill her if they find out what she is, and it's like if I were her dad, I'd be like, you know what? Um, remember she was seven and she danced on the, she ran across the rooftops yeah. and seemingly is, is weightless. She'll be all right. I think she'll be okay. I really do. Yeah. I, I, yeah. I think we're good. You right. Know? Yeah. 
it's a one star. That's frustrating, man. It's a okay. one star. So and I'm he, telling he, people like, don't, don't spend, don't spend money. Don't spend $30 on this. It's going to be free on December 4th. If you really want to watch it, just wait. There's no need there. I'm, there's no need to rush out, you know, unless yeah. there really isn't. I, I just don't think there is. I don't think that it's doing anyone's daughters any good um, to see it sooner or even, or at all. I don't, th- I, I, everything that this movie is trying to do for girls, the original film does better. And there's more to look yeah. at. It's a lot more beautiful. Isn't that the case with every single remake that they've done so far pretty much i still argue that the best of these remakes so far is aladdin i think that that's sure. that that's different enough and and entertaining enough in its own right that that it's a it's a good companion piece to the original aladdin i yeah. think if, if if we're gonna grade yeah. the remakes but sure. okay. there's, there's a descending scale okay.